Hi, I'm sitting here with Brian Siegel, VP of Operations for Sony Electronics. And uh, today we're going to talk about the toast of the show, uh, 4K, televisions, contents, camcorders. Uh, you guys brought a lot to the show this year. And I want to start out by talking about um, the 4K content delivery strategy that you guys have uh, developed. You started last year um, with uh, the Video Unlimited download service, um, and then you've started to expand that uh, pretty significantly. Can you talk about that a little bit for me? Yeah, sure can. So, thank you. Uh, you as you mentioned, we did start with Video Unlimited last year, and we ended the year with about 140 titles that are available for uh, both motion pictures as well as television shows. And we've got the broadest breadth of content today in 4K is available actually from Sony. Uh, and yesterday we announced a couple of relationships that we have with folks like uh, YouTube, YouTube 4K, and uh, with Netflix. Uh, Reed Hastings was on board yesterday and kind of explained to the world the, the value and the benefit of partnering with Sony and our televisions and the way that we're delivering 4K to the market is something that the Netflix folks thought was really superior to, to what's out there today. Right. You know, um, one of the things that was mentioned uh, yesterday during the press event was that um, with Sony televisions, these Netflix 4K streams in, in the testing phase um, are loading almost immediately. I mean, from the time you select the movie to the time it starts, it's, it's going right away. That hasn't necessarily been the case with uh, other uh, competing sets. Can you tell me why it is that Sony's performing better in that way? Yeah, so really at the heart of it, Sony has been listening to our, our customers this year. As we've been rolling out 4K, we've been very active in getting feedback around what's working, what's not working, and what kind of experiences they'd like to see different. And one of them was, in fact, in how they're getting and accessing their 4K content. So the way that we built our 4K televisions moving forward is really for a very reduced buffering situation where you can, as you mentioned, get virtually instant access to, to that content. We're also demonstrating today our, our new 4K server uh, prototype, which allows for basically the storage of 4K content, not just ones that you could get from Video Unlimited or from Netflix, but from any 4K content that you create on your own with any number of devices, and a couple of which we're showing here today as well, too. Right, and, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, I wanted to mention, you know, uh, I don't think a lot of people are aware that Sony, and the way you guys put it is, you own 4K from scene to the screen, right? Yeah. I mean, and that means you're out there recording movies in 4K, you're producing them, uh, you know, getting things mixed down and then and publishing them. Um, and so, in, likewise, Sony is pretty much the king of Blu-ray. I mean, you guys were the, the, the leaders in developing uh, Blu-ray content. Um, I hear a lot of questions about when are we going to see a 4K Blu-ray player? You're talking about all this streaming stuff. What about 4K Blu-ray? Is that something that uh, is in the in the plans right now for Sony? So, yep, Sony was and is actually the king of a Blu-ray, not just from hardware, but as you mentioned, from a production perspective. And it really, there still is a terrific market for Blu-ray. Uh, we sell an awful lot of content and and hardware. But as we look forward to the future. What we're listening to our customers and what they're telling us is they want to be able to consume that content really on a multitude of devices and really wherever and whenever they, they are. So that really requires the ability to almost have no physical content at all. So while we absolutely recognize that Blu-ray is very critical and important, our Blu-ray players actually are some of the best streaming devices for, for content as well. Our 4K approach actually will allow you to be able to access that content on multiple of devices moving forward as well too. Right, so, you know, I mean, if it's already streaming, that means that I don't just watch it at home. I don't have to come up with a download code or I just, I stream it to my tablet. I stream it to, you know, a phone, anything pretty much. That's exactly right. You log on to your Video Unlimited service. You can watch it from your phone. You can watch it from your, your Sony tablet. You can watch it really from any device at all, as long as you access the, the network and be able to, to stream the video. Now, I understand that you guys had uh, Vince Gilligan, who was the creator of Breaking creator of Breaking Bad uh, here earlier today. What was he talking about? So he, what he was talking about was from a Hollywood perspective, how much they are investing in being able to create content in native 4K. Because that really is the future. And as, as we say, the future is now. And as the producer and the creator of one of the, the most popular television shows there are, we actually have worked with Vince to go back and, and put Breaking Bad in 4K. And you can actually access Breaking Bad in 4K today from Video Unlimited service. So he was really speaking as a proponent of, of the format and the ability to be able to, to take actually smaller cameras and be able to, some of the examples he used was he could take a, a portable 4K camera and put it in the wheel well of a car and not have to worry about destroying a 
$25,000 camera when you can destroy a $2,000 camera. And in the edit, it actually looks completely seamless because 4K, really no matter what device you're, you're creating it from, it, it really provides that kind of lifelike, seamless experience. Yeah, and, and that brings up uh, a good final point. Um, it's not just guys like Vince Gilligan that are, are creating 4K content. Uh, now it's actually pretty feasible for anybody to do that. Uh, you guys introduced a brand new 4K camcorder uh, yesterday that uh, I, you know pretty much anybody can pick up right now. Tell me a little bit more about that if you would. Yeah, thanks. We're really, really excited about this because it is really the most affordable 4K uh, camcorder that's out there in the market today. It's about $2,000. It'll be released here shortly. You can go to store.sony.com to get all of the specs on it. But really what it does is it allows any consumer to be in the 4K creative business. And what's even better is that we, we also released, or we talked about uh, nine new 4K televisions, so up from the current five that we have today, ranging in sizes from 49 inches to 85 inches. 49 inches seems like an odd size, but what we had in mind was, again, listening to our customers, they want the ability to be able to edit content. So the inputs and the outputs that we have on that 49 inch 4K allow for easy access to be able to take your 4K content that you've created and be able to either plug it into your, your computer, into the monitor, or be able to access it directly from, from that device as well too. Which is awesome if you've got the, the 4K television, but for those folks that haven't picked one up yet, uh, but they want to start creating this 4K content, I mean, how does that work with their 1080p television? So it'll stream in, or it'll, it'll be displayed in, in the highest quality uh, 1080p as well. And I mean, some would argue, since it was captured in 4K, uh, that it'll actually look better than most of the 1080p content people are enjoying on their sets today. I mean, which is, it's compressed if you're watching it on cable or dish or... You know. I, I won't argue with those that argue that. So. <laughs> awesome. Well, Brian, thanks a lot for taking time to talk to us today. We appreciate it and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks, Caleb.